So a big part of what we're trying to do is simplify technology and make it make it easy. Swarm Farm Robotics is a uh, is a vision that we've taken from, I guess, a background in farming all the way through to a, to an ag tech company, and um, we're one of the, I guess, one of the only companies in the world that's actually commercialising autonomous agriculture, and and we're actually starting to deliver this technology to farmers in Australia now. I started Swarm Farm because everything we do in agriculture is limited by what we can hook on the back of a tractor or what we tip in a spray tank. And if it doesn't fit in either of those two paradigms, we don't do it out the paddock. And Swarm Farm opens an entire new world of farming technology. In this latest iteration of our robots, I guess there's you know, 18 months of development gone into them. And our robots are slightly more powerful. We now have 75 horsepower. We originally had 24. And we've ruggedised the whole design now, so they're, um, they're, you know, they're far more capable than early machines. You know, it's hand over the key stage. Um, we're actually delivering these robots and, and, and leaving them behind on farms and, and farmers are now using it. How you going? Uh, it's Scott from uh, Macadamia Farm Management in Bundaberg. We've had Lima with us for around about six weeks. It's been good to have her on the ground commercially mowing. Um, I guess it, we're covering more ground in something that can operate more hours in the day. It's, it's fairly simple to operate, so it's allowing us to have more consistency in operation. I guess, you know, we really like to keep technology simple. Um, you know, we see robots being a simple technology that farmers can actually set up and maintain themselves and, and not something that overwhelms farmers. We're really proud of what we do at Swarm Farm. We're ag tech based in the heart of agriculture. We're based here on farm because we were actually solving our problems in what we do with broad acre farming. You know, we're limited by the chemistry we're using, um, so we're getting resistance to weeds, and we're also, um, compaction's becoming a big issue. But every other industry has its own challenges, and that's what robotics is about. A great part of this job is, is the practical environment in which we are. We're in a very dynamic team that, that is able to, to change from one thing to the other, depending on what's required from, from either a customer or, or what we identify as a problem. So we, we can be creative with the solutions that we come up with and it's, it's fantastic to be able to implement those solutions straight away, test it on a machine, on farm, in the real situation where it's going to be working. We've worked really hard over the last seven years and it hasn't always been easy. And we're at a really exciting phase. We're building a new on-farm office thanks to the support of the Queensland State Government. We've got a great team and we're rolling our robots out all over the country. I've been asking for one of these autonomous machines for over five years. It's here, it's working, and um, we want number two. When farmers first see our technology, they might initially think that, oh, it's too small, it's not, not, what, I've, not what I've had before. And, and I think that's another exciting thing, is to see those cogs turning and, and see the farmers thinking about what they could be doing and what's next and, and what they can implement on this machine. What we're developing is a platform for agriculture. It's, it's a new operating system for agriculture. Where we've got to head in the future is we've got to get better bang for our buck. We've got to grow more, more tonnes to the hectare and anything that we can use to make that work better. And I just think the autonomous vehicles are going to be a big part of that. What it's doing is driving the next big thing in agriculture. It's about how do we grow better crops to feed the world and how do we do it more sustainably. So in 10 years time I see a swarm farm operating in every agricultural industry. You know, a base robot really doesn't do that much. It's what you put on board. Each of our robots is set up for the particular customer and how they want to use it. For example, Juliet's set up for spot spraying. Lima was set up to work in macadamia nut orchards with, with mower decks, but it's going to have more exciting stuff later. Mike was set up to do flower counting and spraying in apple orchards. November was set up to do cotton, uh, both planting and spraying. And Kilo's a bit of a ladies' man. He loves cutting someone else's grass, so we sent him to a turf farm. Um, from my point of view is, you know, some of the paddocks won't get mowed completely during the day because we've got too much on. You just can't physically get them, these guys around every single paddock. What Kilo brings to that doesn't need to stop at four o'clock in the afternoon. If it finishes at nine o'clock that night, that's okay. You know, it's done the job. I think that the take up in not only the macadamia industry, but in all tree crops is, uh, is coming. Uh, because I guess my problems are the same as everyone else's. I think we're going to need a hand
from autonomous machines as well as the, the labour force we've already got because the things that have to go to be more intensive. And the future of agriculture is going to be driven by this far more exciting stuff. It's not just about driving a tractor, it's actually about you know, technology and biology and, and, and how all that comes together to grow better crops.